Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today's video is a market update once again, but I'm pretty bullish with the way things are playing out on the chart at the moment. It is quite dicey, things are changing day in and day out, but it's starting to look like the selling for Bitcoin has stopped for now, and it looks like we might be getting a bit of a leg up in the next coming days. So in this video, I'm gonna give you my market update. I'm gonna give you one altcoin that I'm looking at that I've purchased myself, and we'll go finish the video with the crypto portfolio update tracker to see how my portfolio is currently going. If you're new here, welcome, I'm The Crypto Diet. I'm currently doing my master's in economics. I'm also working in the banking and finance sector here in Australia, and it is my my goal with this channel to do every single video with honesty, respect, and integrity. If you like the sound of that, give me a like, give me a subscribe, help a uni student out because I've got two assignments due over the weekend. So let's smash this video out and then I'll start working on those assignments. All right, so let's have a look at Bitcoin. First of all, what's making me bullish? Well, we had the huge, huge reversal here. So we we're looking very, very good on the 9th of March. We had a low open, very high close on decent volume. And then the next day we get a down bar with a high volume, with a high open and a low close and a reversal change, which makes Bitcoin look weak. Now I was keeping my eye on the chart because like I said, it generally plays out that these things show weakness. But what we're currently seeing is that we're seeing a bar with small volume, although we've still got another 14 hours to play on the daily chart, but we're already seeing that Bitcoin was getting bought back up. And I've been saying for a long time now, Bitcoin has these two areas for its major support, the 50% and the 618 mark on my extension tools at 38 and a half thousand give or take, and about 35 and a half thousand give or take. And you can see some really big support coming on the 618 mark, but we haven't got there recently. We've been finding support on the 50%. So we're getting higher lows with Bitcoin and we are testing the 236 mark at around that 45 and a half thousand we keep getting rejected and you can see those rejections as follows. And you can even call that one a bit of a rejection too. I thought we were gonna go for another rejection actually yesterday. I thought we were gonna actually have another day where we would get up, reject it and come back down. But the rejection happened earlier. But like I said, this bar, the newest bar for the 11th of March has me very hopeful because it does look like we are getting gobbled up all of the selling and we are on our way up at the moment in terms of the bar closing up high. So you're seeing a very narrow spread between the open and although we have another 14 hours to play out, it does look like we might have a low spread indicating that the selling might be done. But I think we might have to wait for that reversal change because we had a reversal change two days ago yesterday and now we might be having another reversal change in another couple of days where we're going up again. But I really, really want Bitcoin to break through that 236 mark at 45 and a half thousand. If we can break that, that makes me hopeful. And then we've got the major 50% here at 49,000. If we can break those two marks, so that would be here and here, then I am hopeful, but you can see a lot of resistance there. So two resistance barriers to go through for Bitcoin and then we'll see how it plays out. But for now, selling looks like it might be done. Let's have a look at Ethereum. Ethereum, same story. So very similar to Bitcoin, the support coming in at the three at two mark at around two and a half thousand. Once again, support always, always there for Ethereum. If you can snag some Ethereum up at the 50% mark at $2,314, give or take, but you can see how well the extension tools work. You can see how many times it's pretty much landed on it. We've had four opportunities basically in the last three months almost to get Ethereum at those prices. That's why it's a very attractive buy, but three at two mark, two and a half thousand seems to be a very, very strong support for Ethereum and very similar to Bitcoin. You're seeing a bit of a sell-off, not as much as Bitcoin. You're seeing if ETH close a bit stronger than Bitcoin slightly on the 10th. And then you're seeing on the 11th, you're seeing it close even stronger on the bar than Bitcoin. So you're seeing, look at that, all of that bar being gobbled up by the sales. So everyone's buying, everyone's buying. All the selling is just being absorbed, absorbed, and everyone's buying and is closing high on the bar. That's what makes me think we're probably going to get going with a few up bars in the next coming days. Then we have total market cap, which includes all cryptocurrencies. And very similar, you're going to hear me repeat myself. Low bar, a lot of selling happening, closing high on the bar. That indicates that the selling might possibly be done. We need another up bar the next day to confirm that. But at the moment, just looking at it, it does look very bullish at the moment, but we need that confirmation the next day, but it's it's looking good. Then we have total market cap two, which includes all cryptocurrencies except for Bitcoin. Very similar again, high sell off closing up on the bar. So you're starting to see how all of these, all these indicators or all of these charts are starting to blend together to say big sell off today, but all being bought up and being absorbed into total market cap three, which includes all cryptocurrencies except for Bitcoin and Ethereum. And then here we go. We got another strong one. This really confirms if the, if we're in a bull market or not, but it needs to break through that 786 mark at 
685 billion and then of course the 618 mark at 755 billion and we need to get above our 50 percent retracement and that will basically indicate that we are back on the bull run but you can see we've been below it for quite some time since about january so we need to get back up and we start getting a momentum on things we'll see how things play out a lot of resistance barriers for crypto to go through so it needs a very strong punch of sales don't know if we'll get it, but things are looking up for the next coming days. Then we'll have a look at Bitcoin dominance and we can see Bitcoin dominance is on the way down. I did say for a lot of my videos, I expected Bitcoin dominance to go hit its 50%, which is 44.19%. And you can see almost a complete perfect rejection multiple times, so two times. Back down, support on the 50% at 43.2%. We'll see how it plays out. I don't think Bitcoin's really going to go above this red line. It'll probably come back down. And I've been saying we'll probably hover around this lowest I see Bitcoin dominance going to is 618 until we really get going with the selling with the altcoins. Now let's have a look at my cryptocurrency for the day. And that is definitely AVAX. I was having a look at AVAX throughout all of today. And actually, I actually bought some AVAX myself at around $74.88 and only slightly up at the moment. But the reason why I really love AVAX is a lot of altcoins are not performing as well as AVAX, even though it's just been one day, but you're seeing very similar to all the other charts. You're seeing a mid open got below the below the bar and look at all of that buying that's happened. So basically the price went all the way down, brought back up, 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 up and close and looks like it'll close high up on the bar. A lot of cryptos are not closing as well as AVAX. I want it to close strong though. So by the time I wake up, it, I want it to close somewhere near here to confirm the strength of AVAX. And this happened with Arweave. Arweave closed very, very strong on, the fe on February 24th and I knew it was primed for a good run. So you love to see this where you basically have a bit major sell off, but all getting gobbled up and closing very strong on the bar. So you want it to close high on the bar and that will indicate to you the strength of AVAX. And AVAX just been going through this accumulation, it looks like just for a almost a month basically, where it just needs to get going a little bit. We are having some high volume days, but AVAX just hasn't been able to do a Luna yet where it's been able to go near the all time high and even put a new one in. So you can see when I zoom out, it's just been a bit of a downtrend, but it's been holding around its 50% mark. It needs to break through this. If it can break through $78.16, I have high hopes for AVAX, but you can see some of my price predictions for AVAX. So 618 mark takes it at $83, 50% takes it at $91, 382 takes it at $100 and so forth. And then we'll start getting, once we get past the zero mark here, then we've got the all-time high. I don't see AVAX doing an all-time high yet until we get a really big leg up on the bull run. Then I do, but at the moment, AVAX is looking very, very, very strong and it needs to close very strong in the next 14 hours. And if we have a look at AVAX versus Ethereum, you can see that it's outperforming Ethereum. You can see AVAX has been able to find support on its 50% multiple times. So this coin is actually outperforming AVAX and you know me, I love to compare coins to Ethereum. So if a coin is able to beat Ethereum consistently, that is a long-term hold. Everyone thinks I'm just gonna buy a coin, hold it for two years, make a 30X, you might, but one of the things I'm doing, I want to see a coin consistently outperforming Ethereum. That makes me double down on it. So I've doubled down on AVAX. It's looked very, very strong. It's been able to outperform Ethereum consistently. It's only been down since about for a month before getting back up in the stronger half and being able to find support on it. But I am looking, I really want AVAX to start putting in some ground and some pace against Ethereum. Now let's have a look at the live crypto portfolio tracker. This is what I've started this year. So this is brand new, fresh for the channel, and I'm gonna update it as soon as I can. So sometimes I put these orders in earlier in the day and then I'll just make a video updating you guys on it. This isn't financial advice. I'm not saying copy me and you'll do fine. This is just a bit of, for, for a bit of entertainment and educational purposes to see how I'm tracking, how I'm going. So I bought Phantom. I sold out of Phantom very, very quickly because it looked weak and that was the right decision because it actually broke down even further. So I ended up pulling out of Phantom. I took a, a 8.53 loss US and then I put it into AVAX and we're up 0.58% about $5. So currently my portfolio is down $88.46 and there's my balance there. This is in USD because I bought AVAX with USDT. Some tips for you guys out there who are thinking about buying cryptos, look for an exchange with very low fees. You'd be surprised how many exchanges have very high fees. If you're paying upwards north of 0.5% for your fees, it's going to add a lot because every time you're buying and selling, all those fees keep eating up your profits and especially it's going to hurt your losses because instead of you just making a couple hundred losses, it could add an extra 10% on top of your losses or 5% on your losses, depending on your amount that you're trading with or investing with just because of those fees. So just be a bit careful with that. I use Binance because it has a 0.1% fee. So it only cost me a dollar to make this trade, whereas some other exchanges can charge up to $10 just to charge, just to use that. So be careful with that. I'll update you on it. My position with AVAX is going long. I really love AVAX. I believe in it. It's about 95% away from its all time high. So I think that could be an easy 2X there, depending on how the market plays out, but I'm very patient with the market because we don't have those signals that the bull market is in just yet. 
but I think we have some chances to make some 20, 30, 40, 50% profit, but definitely within the range of 10 to 30% is entirely possible. So I hope this video helped. Again, give me a like, give me a subscribe if it did. Wish me luck on my assignments and I will see you on the next video. Stay safe, everyone.